think I'm running out of time. I've uh, recorded three, two sessions, three minutes at a time already, so I'm working up to nine minutes here. So uh, thanks to everyone for coming by, and I'll have a little bit more of an update with general life and things I'm doing, and hopefully I haven't crashed the van into some idiot who wasn't paying attention and cut me off in traffic. Until then, I will leave you with whatever video clip I can find to stick at the end here. Thank you all for watching, and good day. Ah. Sometimes I hate pedestrians. What the hell is going on over here? You know, you give people a break once in a while. Are you all across the street? <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Van Vlog number 27! I'm just at UVic again. I'm usually at UVic a lot, actually. Uh, just seems to be the way things go. Well, right now I'm moving. I missed the moving. And I fucking hate moving. I don't know who loves moving, but I think you're completely insane if you love moving. My cat, she really doesn't like moving. Yeah, you tell them. You tell them how much you love moving. Go ahead. I know. It's not fun, is it? No. Oh, anyway. So, yeah. I'm just glad I'm not going to be living in a place with mold or any other nasty nastiness. Um, because I'm really freaking sick of it. And I just want to sleep in my own home. And I want my cat to be happy, and I don't want my unborn child having mutant tendencies because of some mold in the walls. You know what I mean? Yeah. What else can I tell you guys today? Well, yeah. <clears throat> Actually, I'll tell you a moving story. Um, about nine years ago, I was living in a place that was like a slum. And I had a slum lord, and the landlord actually didn't show up for the last day that I was there. Um, so uh, the day we were moving out, uh, there were a bunch of bikers. Uh, a man by the name of uh, his name was Jason, and he was moving in. Well, he lived next door, and his friend Mongo, who really fit that name quite well because he was a behemoth he was like four or five hundred pound man biker dude thought he was like the top shit of the shelf um they showed up at oh i don't know 10 o'clock in the morning and uh we still weren't moved out we still hadn't moved out of this slum so there we are trying to move and so all of this guy's friends and their moving truck show up and they plant themselves on the front lawn. Well, that's wonderful. Thanks a lot for all of your freaking help. Uh, so they're all sitting out there on chairs and hanging out, drinking beer and getting drunk and high and getting rowdy like bikers usually do. And uh, it progressed to the point where we were considering calling the police because they started moving their stuff into the house before we had cleared out. So basically you've got their stuff, our stuff, all mixed up in a big jumble. So really what's the... Uh, funny thing though, uh, we ended up with a few boxes of their stuff and it was a wonderful payback to, you know, give away their things after all the problems they caused us. So here we've got about four Rottweilers, about a dozen bikers. Um, I had some small friends and, you know... Uh, basically, it was a shit show. So, we moved the stuff out. I drove the truck. 
and uh, out to the new place. Moved all of my shit into the driveway and I had to go back. And basically when I got back I was told that my girlfriend at the time was threatened and they dumped our fish tank out and they threw everything out the back door while we were gone. And uh, yeah, it was not fun. I wanted to kill that man. I almost got in a fight with a four to five hundred pound man called Mongo. That's all I have to say right now. So like I was saying, I, uh, me and my buddy Aaron, we took the moving truck out to the new place and I basically deposited all of my belongings into the driveway because I was moving out of a house into a suite, a one, bed one bedroom suite. And uh, so I had to drop things off there. And then I had to go to my mom's house and drop things off there because I still didn't have enough room. So on my way back, my mom tells me that my girlfriend called and said she was being threatened by Mongo's wife, who we affectionately called Fee Mongo, because she was just as ugly and just as much of an asshole as her Mongo husband. So I get back, and uh, I was ready to fight. I was ready to kick someone's ass. And uh, I have to do a walkthrough right now, so I'll be right back. Sorry about that, I had to do an inspection, you know, the move-in inspection. <clears throat> so, yeah, like I was saying, I got back to the house, and uh, we had a huge moving truck. It was just humongous, like the biggest budget truck you can get without having an air brake certification. So I come barreling in there, I just crash that fucking truck into the yard, and I slam it into the middle of the lawn. And uh, me and my buddy Aaron get out, and I was ready to fight. I was ready to kick someone's ass because they were threatening my girlfriend and uh, throwing my stuff out without my permission. So that really ticked me off. So I get back there, and this big 400 behemoth, 400 pound behemoth asshole is uh, standing there beaking off at me. So I was like, eh, what is your problem? You're throwing the fish out now? You want to dump it out in the front yard? Uh, what else can we, uh, what else do you want to destroy, you piece of crap? And uh, so he was getting all uppity with his little friends there. And uh, I basically just, I, uh, I got up on the front steps and I was just, I was just letting him have it. Letting him know exactly what I thought about this guy. Uh, he was trying to come at me, and his friends were holding him back, and I was just like, whatever, dude. I don't even care. I got so much adrenaline in my system right now. I would whoop your sorry 400-pound ugly sore ass in a second. And, uh, you know, needless to say, uh, that was probably the worst moving experience I have ever had. Um, we had the police there uh, about three times that day because uh, they kept threatening us, uh, threatening us with violence. And they were threatening women. Especially Fimongo. Fucking hated Fimongo. Anyway, she ended up working at Home Depot. We saw her picture later. And, uh, I'm being interrupted again. And I'll see you later.